Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tip on scene templates in Keyshot. When you first open Keyshot, you're presented with this welcome screen where you can access your most recent files, any demo scenes that come with the software and any learning resources to help learn about those new features. You'll also now find a new tab named New Scene where it presents you with different starting templates that you can use to start building your render scenes. Now these ones all come with the software and can cater for things for large parts all the way down to kind of smaller parts. As well as these, you can create your own so you can start to build up your own library of scene templates. So how do you do this? So for this example, uh, I've got a, a model in a small studio setup. If I expand this here, you can see the different model sets that I've got into place. So these model sets are currently split up into like lighting options, uh, different assets, and then a model set purely for the main model itself. As well as that, if I go to my camera tab, you can see that I've got two different cameras set up. And similar with the environment, I've got two different environments. Now in this scene, there are studios set up, uh, linking all of these things together. Uh, so it's kind of like a photo studio for any small products that I may want to bring into this scene. So if I wanted all these assets to be replicated over multiple scenes, so there is that consistency throughout the product range, what I can do is go to the file drop down and say save scene template. You'll then be presented with this save template file uh, where you can then rename your file and specify what you want to include. Under the geometry, it will look for any model sets that are within the file and it will tick the ones that are already active. So if there are other ones that you need to carry across, make sure you tick them. Other things that you include are things like NURBS data, cameras environments, image styles and studios. If your models have any animations in there, you can also select that, but it's recommended just to leave these as camera animations, just because those models may be changing in your different files. When you're happy with your selection, you can then click on save and this will then save it into your resources folder. So if I just click on W on my keyboard to bring up that welcome screen and making sure that I'm in that new scene tab, I can then scroll to find that example scene that I have just saved in. Please note that it has saved it into the Keyshot resources folder. So if this is on a network, it means that anyone in your business with access to that network also now has access to your scenes. So if I select that file and hit create, it will then open it up and we can see when it is opened, it has brought in all those model sets, two different cameras and the environments. So now it's just a case of removing whichever model was originally in there and then adding your new models in. With these scene templates as well, you don't have to perform any form of save as. You'll find that any new scene will be called untitled until you then specify what that scene name is. Thank you for listening.